Hello everyone, this is Rory Andrews for Swarmio Esports. Ghosts of Esports Past on Reddit informed me that my mic was backwards. So... Cue Bumper! All right, this is Rory Andrews for your Esports Roundup for the week of April 5th, 2017. E-League was nominated for an Emmy for... Outstanding Studio Design and Art Direction. E-League was recently purchased by Turner Entertainment and has been airing CSGO tournaments on its TV station with outstanding production value. It's got lights and sound and announcers and correspondents and Armani suits. And their recent tournament at the Fox Theater was a gorgeous endeavor. Let's see who else was nominated for the Emmy. We have something called the Super Bowl. What's in the Super Bowl? What's in the Super Bowl? I think it's football. It's football? We also have the Olympics. So we're in good company there. The, uh, the eSports scene is getting legitimized through Turner Entertainment, excellent. And speaking of E-League, it recently announced its Street Fighter V tournament. This is the first game outside of Counter-Strike that they'll be airing on television. This is probably because it's a more accessible game that people can watch and understand, unlike League of Legends and Overwatch, which has a higher bar for understanding. But I'm not saying that Street Fighter V is a simple game. By far not so but it's just two people fighting, so people understand that. Next story! Your favorite peripheral company from the 1990s, Mad Cats, has gone bankrupt. You might remember Mad Cats by that second player controller with a sticky joystick everybody passed you to play Halo. Well, turns out they were doing a whole lot more than that. They had headphones, they had mice that looked like spaceships, they had all the rock band equipment, and it turns out that's exactly where they went wrong. Mad Cats invested a ton of money in the 2015 Rock Band 4 that sold not so well. It turns out that the world wasn't ready for a Rock Band resurgence, and all those plastic guitars and drum kits just went to the wayside. They're starting liquidations, so you might find some good deals on Mad Cats equipment. They're not the worst. I mean, hey, the, uh, the headphones look pretty snazzy. They're not Beats. Beats print money. Story three! So there was this uh, Madrid-Spain tournament for Street Fighter V. This Dutch player named Sven, he, uh, he won a match. Isn't that great? Isn't that great, Mike? He won a match. It's not a really big story. Except he was blind. Like, totally blind. Couldn't see. Couldn't see. We're not talking about like fuzzy, legally blind, not allowed to drive. And you might wonder, how did he win a competitive level tur tournament game while being blind. Well, it turns out the sound effects in Street Fighter V are incredibly exact. He would get some distance between his opponent and uh, do some Hadoukens, know where his opponent was by how much time it took him to block or take the hit, and then plan his combos on that. You could also react to sound, which is crazy because the sounds in Street Fighter and most fighting games happen after the animation because people can react to sounds faster than they can react to visual stimuli. She didn't go further into the tournament because he had a handicap, because he was blind. But the fact that he won a game is a pretty amazing story in and of itself. Also, he stated in the article we'll have below that he doesn't make a lot of money because it's tough to make a lot of money when you're blind, so he can't make it to a lot of tournaments. He's a Dutch player, he went all the way to Madrid for this one. So somebody make a Kickstarter campaign for Sven? Get him, get him, get him to Poland? Hey, you know, the crowd was rooting for him. We have the link to the, uh, to the fight below, so you can go there and check that out. On to our last story, story four. The Overwatch World Cup is back for 2017, and the South Koreans are probably gonna win it again. All these teams are based on six-man compositions from every country that is allowed into the tournament. These are 32 countries. The country of origin votes on their top four players. First place player gets to pick two teammates of his own to round out the six. So the top 32 teams right now consists of countries such as America and uh, Finland and Sweden and China. Now, some suggest that the reason they're having the Overwatch World Cup again is because the Overwatch League hasn't been put together in the time allotment that they saw fit. Uh, the Overwatch League has been dark for a while, so people maybe think that this Overwatch World Cup is a smokescreen. Personally, I don't think so. I love the World Cup. Go Team Canada. Sure, is going to be on a team. He's not 
he's not gonna he's not gonna win. But fourth place team is Sweden, behind South Korea, China, and America. And if you look at any of these numbers, Sweden has a very small population compared to those three countries. So why exactly is Sweden so good at Overwatch? Well, I have a theory. Sweden used to be full of Vikings. Now it's a socialist utopia and everybody has healthcare and nobody murders each other and they've just got a lot of pent up aggression. So they gotta just jump on video games. They're good at CSGO too, you know? They're just good at these things. Also, long winners, what are you supposed to do? Make crafts? No, play video games. That's what the Swedes do. I'm Rory Andrews for Swarmio Esports. Thanks for watching. See you later.